Hello, everybody, Pride48 peeps. This is John Ong. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to broadcast on Pride48 on your Mac. So the first thing that we want to do is to set up your NiceCast server. So what you want to do is launch NiceCast. You can buy the software or you can download it and use it as a trial. I believe there's a little static after a certain amount of minutes. I believe it's 60 minutes or something like that. And you start to hear static. So be mindful of that. Now, the number one thing that you want to do is to get your um, NiceCast set up properly. So what we want to do is, as you can see here, NiceCast broadcast window. So this is the broadcast window up here that you're seeing. The server, this is the server window. If it, the server window does not show up, at least you will get this window. So this NiceCast uh, broadcast window is the first thing that you want to go in and set. Number one that you want to do is find your source. So the first tab down here, click on source. If it's not already there, click on it. It will open that up. You will get to see what your audio input is. And I'm talking about your voice. This is your microphone that will carry your voice into the stream. And you want to select source. And under source, you want to choose and make sure you have audio device selected. The one in the middle, not application, not system audio, but audio device. When audio device is selected, come down slightly to your right, click on the select and make sure you choose your microphone input source. It can be anything, but most of you would probably use some sort of a USB microphone like me here, a blue USB audio 2.0. So I select that. And that's key, that's crucial. That's setting up your NiceCast um, audio source, which is your voice. And uh, we don't have to worry about the other tabs, but the next tab is the fourth one, quality. So we'll click on quality. In quality, you would want to make sure, sometimes the presets are set to one of these, low, lower, high, higher, and so forth. You don't want that to be a preset. You want to change it into custom. And in custom, you would change your bit rate to 96 kilobit per second, 96 kbps, and sample rate at 44.1 kilohertz. Choose that and then make sure your channels um, is set to stereo. Now, these settings, I believe, will also be posted on your Pride48 account page as well. So these settings will be there. Uh, but this is the setup that you want to do. Have your audio quality set to this setting. Next, we'll move on to the server. So if you don't see the server window, always go up to your NiceCast window menu, come down to server, choose number two, show server or command two, uh, that would open up your server window. I'm going to leave this cheat sheet here for me and for you. So on server, to the, sometimes the server window can be on the right, can be on the left. If it's, you know, depending on whether or not you want to scoot this over here and you want the window or your drawer over on this side, you just click on those two buttons. So uh, obviously you have a built-in server. The built-in server is using your own machine as the server, but uh, for our case for Pi48, you don't want to do that. You actually want to create a new Pi48 server. Now you see, I already have the setting created here because I'm already broadcasting now. So I have the setup um, already there on the server drawer. But if it's new to you, you click on this bottom plus icon, click on that, and it will create a new server for you. And you can go ahead and type in pride48 uh, server or something like that. And uh, the server type and the account password, address, port, mount point, and all that information uh, will be revealed to you on your Pride48 account page. So for instance, like the server type, the information that will be given to you will ask you to change it to I IceCast2, and uh, for instance, account information, what to do here, password, your address, for which would be your IP address, will be given to you in your account page, including the port number that you have to set and the mount point that you have to set. And if you just want to use your voice, you could just, this is it. I mean, all you have to do now is just click on start broadcast and you are ready to go, like right now. However, you might want to do more. You might want to say, at your theme song, opening song, or your closing song, or maybe even have somebody 
come in uh, as a guest using Skype. So those are the two things that I would be introducing next. So we'll go and configure Nicecast for your theme song as well as your Skype conversation. What you want to do now is go on to your window, your Nicecast window menu, and then come down to Effects. Show Effects. This is number three right here. Show Effects. Now I'll show you how to add a new one. So when you click on that, it will show um, several different effects that you can add to it. But the one that we are interested in right now is Application Mixer. So go to 4FX Effect and choose Application Mixer. Select Application Mixer and then you will see the Application Mixer showing up what app you want to capture, what application you want to capture on your computer uh, to play your music. So you may want to play music from a different application. I don't know what it is, but if, if it's not iTunes, something else, all you need to do is click on select and then choose the uh, application that you want to use. If you happen to be playing your music from, say, Google Chrome or whatever, and then you can choose that particular application where you want to capture the sound and uh, be pushing that sound into your live stream. For me, it will be iTunes. So I'm just going to select iTunes, choose, and now it's selected. For Crossfade, you want to leave it in the middle unless you want to do more testing down the road. The one thing I want to spend a tiny bit of time telling you about is the uh, what source means and what application means. Application, clearly, it's the application that you're capturing, so it is iTunes in this particular mixer. Uh, source would be your voice. So the mix would be how loud you want your music to be or how loud you want your voice to be. The next thing that you want to do is to click on hijack. Now you hijack your audio from iTunes. So you click hijack and then it will start hijacking it and make sure that you have to be hijacking the sound in order for the stream to have the audio played out. And so next thing you want to click on monitor output. That's crucial also. Otherwise you can't quite hear it. And I'll show you in a bit why you want to have that turned on. Then you would turn that off and now you are ready to play your iTunes music. Let me see. I think I already have. So it's, if you have your theme song or whatever queued up here, this is what you want to do. So I'm going to click on start broadcast just so you can see the level up here. When I click start broadcast, you can hear my voice talking into and you can see the level moving. <laughs> up and down. So that is uh, your voice. Um, I don't want you to be messing with the mixer on Nicecast because you can always control your volume here. So if you want to say play music in the background and then you know push the music down softer, you want to do it here, right here. I want to show you what this volume setting is in your broadcast window. When you are broadcasting, you want this volume to be all the way down because if not, you will hear yourself twice. Now, this is why in my uh, hijack setting, I wanted you to turn on monitoring because if you don't turn on monitoring, if you turn this all the way down, you don't hear anything. And we don't want that because if you play music, we want to let yourself hear your music. In the application mixer, if you want to tweak something that you've already set, because when you first first time when you add something, it automatically pop up. But if you want to change something, you want to click on this editor. It's really tiny, but click on this editor. Uh, it's uh, there are two knobs, so two boobies. And the left booby, down below the left booby is the editor. So click on the editor. This will show up. So monitor output, it's crucial to have that turned on so you can hear your music. And that concludes configuring Nicecast for your theme song. In the next segment, I will talk to you about how to add a Skype conversation because sometimes you might want to use Skype to um, bring a guest on to your live stream with you. So what you want to do is you can launch Skype and in Skype, uh, go to your Skype preferences 
Select Skype Preferences. Oh, that's me! Hi, everybody. That's me.、Uh, in Skype Preferences, you want to choose your microphone to be the same microphone where you will be talking. So where your voice comes in, which typically some of you, most of you, would probably be a USB microphone or a whatever microphone input that you have. Most of you would be a USB or from your mixer, whatever. Choose that as your input, and then your speaker would be whatever you are hearing. Uh, your audio from sometimes it's your computer and sometimes it's on your if you have a a blue Yeti microphone. Some of the microphones actually have a headphone uh, headphones a、uh, port out, so I'm plugging directly into my microphone. So that's why I cho- I chose the speaker as Blue USB Audio 2.0. For you, it may be internal、uh, or、uh, built-in output like this one, and、uh, so. All you need to make sure is that your audio is in properly using the correct microphone, the same audio source as your Nicecast setting, and then speakers where you will be plugging in your headphones, and you do want to plug in and wear a pair of headphones. I'm gonna close that out. So Skype is. I'm gonna park Skype over to the side for a little bit. Now let's go back to Nicecast. I'm gonna go back and turn、uh, open up my effects、uh, window. Actually, you can also click on this tab here on the right. Click on effects. This will show up as well. In here, we want to add an additional one. I don't like to stack them all and the, on the same、uh, on the same row. I want to go to a new row and click on that and add another application mixer. So what you want to do is you want to hijack the sound from Skype. So now instead of iTunes, I'm going to choose Select. I'm going to type in Skype. Select Skype. And now Skype is selected, just for Skype, only for Skype. You want to make sure you want to click on this Advanced button before you click on Hijack. Okay, before you do that, you want to click on this button.、It、include audio inputs. You want to uncheck that. Include audio input means the application is playing back your own voice. So if it does that, you'll hear yourself twice. So you don't want that. You want to uncheck Include audio inputs under Advanced. And then click OK. So first thing, choose your Skype. Second thing, go to Advanced, uncheck Include Audio, and then、uh, click OK. Then followed by that would be clicking on Hijack because you want to hijack the sound from Skype. So I'm going to click Hijack, and then I'm going to click Monitor Output, and then I'll turn it off. So now that allows you to capture Skype. Now. You're pretty much set. Now you can play your theme song. You can do an interview with、uh, your guest on Skype, and the listeners on Pride Forty Eight、uh, stream will be able to hear your guest's voice as well as your theme songs, and your voice. And so you're all set. There's an additional tip that I want to let you know, which is to add on a gain. This really is very, very optional, and I will only suggest that you do it if you know what you're doing. Okay, when you test your feed on Pride Forty Eight, you might. You might、uh, get feedback saying that your show level is really low. Everything is super low, and maybe then is when you want to do this. But you want to watch out because you don't want to overdo it until it, your sound becomes distorted. So click on in your effects window again. Click on this. This is again optional. You don't have to do this. You don't have to mess with this if this is overwhelming. Go into、uh, gain. So the first four FX effects, and click on gain, and you get gain. So what gain does is it will take the feed from these two applications,、uh, Skype as well as iTunes, and feed that into a gain control. So you can then pump up your input gain or your output gain until you get、uh, a louder sound on the server. But you want to do that sparingly. Totally optional. To get rid of this, click on this effect, and then select none. That goes away. This is just a tip. If you want to do it, do it. If not, don't worry. Now the next segment is a bonus. You sometimes might want to broadcast your show on Pride Forty Eight live stream, and at the same time, you also want to make sure that it is recorded and to be posted on your regular podcast feed. So if that's the case, you can actually do this very easily, especially if you have a fairly, you know, a good computer within the last. 
four, three years maybe uh, a Mac, and you should be able to do this without any problem. So what you want to do is you want to turn on archiving in NiceCast. Let me show you how to do that. So in here, in your NiceCast window, go up to window and choose show archiving. And this window would pop up again, window, show archiving or command four. And this would show up. This tells you whether or not you have archiving already turned on. There are three uh, panels here. One is control, one is format, and one is archive folder. First thing I'll do is probably to choose what format you want to record the archive uh, sound. Everything that you broadcast out on Pride 48 will be recorded in this format and then record it on your local computer. So for me, I like to choose the highest quality, so I leave it at AIFF. If you want to, you can choose MP3 and then ch leave it at stereo because that's what your broadcast quality is set to and then choose a bitrate that you like, 192, 128, 60 for um, whatever you choose. For me, I like to do AIMF and then I will then recompress that out so I have the highest quality. And then you want to move down to your archive folder. Archive folder is essentially where you want to save that audio file. As you are broadcasting, a file is being recorded in the background. For me, I just put it on my music folder and and a folder called NiceCast Broadcast Archive. So you can choose that, whatever you want to do, wherever you want to put it, just choose that. And that file would be saved there. So now, before you do anything, you want to click Archive. When you click Archive, you see it says Active, and you see that the, the file is now um, being recorded. Uh, if you are live, right now I'm live, so therefore the file is being recorded. If you're not live, that file won't be moving like this, but it will be set to do it the next time you hit um, go live or broadcast. So that is uh, NiceCast archiving. And that really is very simple. So I'm gonna kind of go to my finder and show you where that file is. I'm gonna, do, uh, I'm gonna go to my music folder. So here, John oh, music and go to my music folder. And here's NiceCast broadcast archive. So these are all the files that I've done right now. This is the file that I'm recording this. And this is the file that is being generated because I'm broadcasting live now. So that's all. Uh, now you have learned how to set up your input with your microphone. And we change the quality setting to 96 kilobit per second, 44 one uh, kilohertz and stereo. And we also changed the server configuration, which is going to be again given to you by Pride48 on your account page. Then we also learn on the second segment, configure NiceCast for your theme song by hijacking the sound from uh, uh, iTunes. And then number three, we also learn how to configure Skype. Change your microphone input and output to the microphone that you're using, the same source as you're using for NiceCast. And then we uh, add application mixer to capture or hijack Skype, but remember to uncheck in the advanced button to uncheck the include audio input uh, check mark and then click on the editor to change any settings if you that little tiny little button editor to change your uh, settings and also click none on the mixer itself to get rid of the mixer we also learn how to only use it sparingly at gain mixer in case if your feed sounds really low Lastly, number four, the bonus, how to archive your show while you're doing a broadcast. This is John Ong, and hope you have a wonderful Pride 48 streaming experience. Bye.